This is a brand new rum to me today, to my knowledge. I don't think I've ever tasted it or smelt it or anything like that. I, I may have come across it at a rum show, the rum show or rum fest in the UK, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. I don't know if I have, I'm really sorry. So this is my kind of first uh, go at this. This is North Pilot, uh, what do they call it? Uh, sorry, North Point Pilot Rum. Uh, and this is, basically they call it a young rum. So North Point, I can't give you too much. I've never spoken to them to what I know. And they don't have too much knowledge out there in the, on the interwebs. There's a lot of, uh, and, I, and I mean this in the nicest possible way. Don't, I'm not being a Debbie Downer here. I'm, this is constructive criticism. There are, and again, on the battle, back of the bottle, there is more about stories about, I'm not saying pirates, but you know, for hundreds of years, ships uh, requiring safe passage, signal to shore to summon, the, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We're talking about that instead of talking about what you guys do. And I would rather read paragraphs about what you guys do and your distilling methods about instead of about ships that maybe went past the coastline about 20 miles north of where you are. And that's just that. We, we kind of crave knowledge. And I couldn't get that knowledge from your website. And I couldn't. So that, that's my only constructive criticism uh, about this. I've not even smelt or tasted this yet, but I kind of want to know more about you, more about your stills, more about your ferments and all that sort of stuff. So I'd rather you put that out there than a marketing story. So that aside, what can I kind of tell you? Um, I'll give you the price. We'll, we'll, do, we'll go down the little list that I've got here to start off with. Uh, so 39 pounds direct with them, which equivalents to 48 dollars uh, or 45 euros. Uh, and if you, but if you buy it on Master of Malt, so this is direct from them. If you buy it on Master of Malt, it's actually four pounds more expensive, 43 pounds, uh, which nets up to 53 dollars uh, US dollars and 50 euros. So uh, North Point, uh, basically refers to the geography. They are, if you can picture the UK, I'm going to be back to front here, but so Cornwall's down there, John O'Groats is up there. You've got Thurso, not too far away from John O'Groats, it's literally right there next to John O'Groats. North Point is just literally, just around the sort of bay, uh, a touch to Thurso. So right up there on the north coast of Scotland, overlooking the coast. Uh, overlooking the sea, the sea, the water. Uh, so that's where they are. They're still, I did I did do a little bit of digging again, not on the website. You know, they haven't even really got pictures of this still on the website or anything like that. You know, you would struggle to believe they are a scratch distillery in the UK from all the knowledge they put out there. And I think that's the point I'm driving at. Really push on that as opposed to push on ships passing like centuries ago to get rum and get sugar and, and all that. that. That's the whole point I'm driving at. But it's still, uh, and I've done a little bit of digging on this, is basically a, I uh, forget what it's actually called now, but it's, a, it's basically a pot and column hybrid uh, still. The column on it is from what I could see a two plate, see, and I can't think what the flipping name's called. Um, but it's, it's a two plate column. So again, not a massive column, but the column's kind of design, uh, designed for brandy and rum on there. So when you sort of say, column still you would naturally sort of assume seven eight nine ten twenty if you're in uh, St Lucia 40 plates this literally had sort of two plates in it from what I could see so the very the emphasis pretty much is in on um on the pot still part of this rum uh and that's all really what I can get it's been aged again we don't know how long for there's no knowledge in that. All we can say it's been aged, rested in Scotch whiskey barrels. Hence, this is called a young rum. Uh, and there's, you know, there's nothing really else to kind of give you on this. So all I can really give you is my tasting notes and aroma notes of what's coming off here. And again, on the nose, actually, this is going to be, this is going to sound, I'm really sorry, I don't mean to be like this, but this is going to sound like I'm on a real Debbie Downer in this video, and I'm really not. But on the nose, there's nothing actually screaming out at me. Um, I'm struggling. Vanilla? A, t a touch a touch of vanilla, a, a mere sprinkling of vanilla. There, there may be some sort of soft green fruit on it, like a ripe pear or ripe apple, but probably more pear. But you know, that's, that's really, really pushing it. Really pushing it. On the nose, I, I, I am struggling to pick up Anything of note on the nose. On the taste though, different. <laughs> um, there is lush, lovely vanilla on there. There is 
a lightness to it. Um, this is interesting because if you, if I was blind on there, and you said it's this pot or column, I would probably go column. Um, I don't really, in the same, the only way I could describe it is that, that that's, you know, that Richard of Retribute is unmistakably pot, unmistakably, and that'll be, you know, the, the ferment and all that as well, but um, even um, the scratch, even the old salt, unmistakably sort of pot still rums. I'm actually, it I don't know, but well, obviously, yeah, I mean, it comes, it's a pot, but how much of that is then gone through the column, et cetera, and what they, to what extent they use that column too, I don't know, but there is, it's a very light rum. I think the vanilla vibe it reminds me of actually is more, you know, when you have vanilla ice cream, vanilla, vanilla, there is, in my head, there's this distinguishment between vanilla, vanilla pods, and like vanilla ice cream. For me, that actually reminds me of vanilla ice cream. There is a peppery tingle um, in there, a, a sort of a, a spice that really does cling to your gums. A and actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna retract that. Uh, not peppery tingle. I'm going for a cinnamon tingle. Um, that's kind of what's sticking to my gums down there. But I'll be honest, it's kind of I'd be very interested to see the age of this rum and the barrels used. What specific barrels? Because the lightness of the rum, there's going to be a conflict of what I've coming out here, a contradiction. The lightness of the rum instantly kind of makes me think, you know, we're talking less than a year old. But the wood coming off the rum would say, I know, you've probably, it's probably been aged for a couple of years on there. Um, and which would lend, lend me to believe that that was kind of like... Um, virgin oak or something like that but they do say it's ex scotch whiskey barrels on there but i think this is a rum that i'll definitely have to revisit look i'm going to be brutally honest here open it is it a terrible rum no the, the, the daiquiri is the daiquiri is lovely actually really really good daiquiri for me light clean crisp you know that's why i kind of think it's more column uh, more column influenced than the pot in that rum because for me that actually suits the style of daiquiri that i like um it's actually a really, really nice daiquiri, this. But the rum experience in itself isn't a rum that I enjoy sipping neat. It's kind of, it's not, it's not that I think it's bad quality. It's not kind of got the industrialness to it. It has been well finished. It's been well put together. It's just, there's no, I don't, I don't want to come across as being harsh. There's no character. Uh, in it to me. It's just very much down the line of soft vanilla and a bit of wood. It's gone on there. It's it's just like a generic kind of rum, which when you're paying best part of £40, $48 US, 50, what is it, €45, Euros, you actually want something a little bit more. So I'm going to go straight into uh, the summing up of this. Like, would I, do I think it's value for money? Uh, is it, have I got anything behind the bar that's comparable already and would I restock this? I think the, it's going to be harsh to say whether I'd restock it now, yes or no. First impressions, no, I wouldn't, but I, I kind of have to come back to this. I like coming back to stuff. I just wanted to see what it was like. Uh, have I got anything behind the bar already It's like this? I would actually liken this to actually... Uh, pff, I would actually liken it to some of the Cuban sort of styles of rum, actually. Um, it, there was nothing in the UK like this, and I, and I mean this in the nicest possible way. The UK rums that I really like have got more character to them. Even at one year, like Lazy Dog for me has, has got more character in the rum, even though we, we know it's probably the same, probably one year old, if that. You know, the Lazy Dog, has got more character in it, more different kind of tastes that go off on different directions. Kits, all right, Kits is some like two years old, three years old. Um, I think uh, I think a Kit Ninefold has got a one-year-old in there as well. But again, lots of different, and that will all come down from the fermentation, the what the you know the yeast strains and all that different. There. So for this, for me, if if it's the rum that I'm comparing it to uh, for the lighter cube, which are like 
19, 20, 25 pounds. So 23, 24 up to 28 dollars. Then I think this is a stretch for me. And I'm a big one for bigging up UK British distillers for the price because I know they have to compare at price. I just want something a little bit more. Even the white rums in the UK, the unaged UK British rums, have got bags of character in them. And, and to bring this, and this is going to be so tough, so tough because this will follow the week on, to put Dropworks uh, Clear Drop up against this, cl Dropworks Clear Drop has virtually come off the still and been rested for like two or three weeks, if that, has got far more character in it than what this has. Um, so guys at Northport, please don't take this as in the wrong or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to, you know, this has been sitting out for about, I'll be honest, it's been sitting out for about half an hour. Uh, I kind of did it, pre-poured it before that because I know bottle pop to that is there. But I just want, I just want something a little bit more. This is a very easy going rum, but just with a bit of, this kind of sounds so nuts. It's a very easy going rum with a bit too much wood that hasn't been rounded off nicely, if that makes any sense at all. 